Bottle challenge. I don't want to hear it. Now, bottle challenge. You ready? Yeah. You got it? Come on. Yeah. Come on. I'll, what I'll, do you I'll mean? show you how it's done. Chuck Norris style. Dad hat. Oh, what was that? Oh my oh. God. I know your back hurts. Let me show you how it's done. Let me, get out of my way. This is how you do it, like a real American. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the globe. We took a quick week off, but we are back. back. I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. And we got a couple special guests with us here, gentlemen, if you want to introduce yourselves. I'm Master P, the ice cream man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm Romeo Miller. Uh, I don't Amen. think I don't think the people watching realize just how much you guys have done in the sneaker game. So yeah. we're going to talk about all that. The most important thing, we want to talk about what sneakers we're all wearing. Welty, what have you got on your feet? Today's Flex. Yeah, I got a pair of Adidas Londons that I picked up when I was in London. Okay. Doing a little talking event. I like those ones. They're, they're new, sure. but they're, they're a bit fucked up. I went to a drum and bass club. Uh, in you were dancing? More, more. Yeah, you were yeah. Dancing? I, hit, I hit a little... Uh, I hit a little uh, <laughs> Shoulders Yo, work. come on, man. Too okay. much info. We don't want to know all of that about the sneaks. <laughs> there he is. What you have on today, Romeo? Man, I'm rocking them Manyatis. Okay. These, them, them black lepers right here. Yeah, man, I mean, we need to hook y'all up with some Manyatis. Well, I mean, this should well, be Manyati Monday, close. man. My shoes is my first pair of babes that I you ever got you owned. You got some bathing apes? This is my first babes. Okay. These are the Bape Dunk Lows. I wore, you know, black and gold. The Saints are from Atlanta, but show love to the New Orleans. Yeah, yes, In sir. the building yeah. or whatever, that's my yeah, shoe. Uh, tell me a little bit more about the Manyatis. I got the Manyatis on, on the table. There it is. I'm rocking there the it is. Manyatis. Y'all see that? on the they table, brand everybody. New. They not dirty. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, you want to show the bottle? Fresh there he is. Come on. That's like, what I like, son, let's do it. These are the Bugatti shoes. You know, this high-end fashion. It is top quality, all handcrafted from Italy, the leather. So this is the real deal, you know. This brand is owned by us, me and Rome. To be able to have our own brand is so important because we don't own nothing. Mm. I tell people all the time, you know, a lot of entertainers, a lot of athletes, but nobody actually owned the brand. So mm. it's time to change that. So, Miyati, every pair you buy go back to inner city kids to help for education. So. It's high fashion for 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 a good call. I'm doing bok, another bok, another bok, custom bok, Reebok, bok, another Bok Boys. Bok, um, bok, bok, the bag bok, has not my yachty, but the bag has gonna ride. Shout out to Rob from Laces Out, uh, cook these up for me. He's got the FSR logo on the tongue, all types of Reebok. Types what, of, what more do y'all want? But know. let me tell y'all something. Though. He got some backstory on hands. I got hit on about ten times wearing these Miyatis today on the Is elevator. That how it works? I'm just, yeah. that's what happens with Mayati. So that's all well, I'm saying. Well, it's a designer sneaker. Let's yeah. get into let's, let's, <laughs> let's go Mayati first. Let's, oh, no, you want, let's go. What's the news? We're going to get into the Mayati. I promise yeah. you that. News mm -hmm. and then Mayati. Let's yeah. talk sneakers. News, news. Mayati. The, the first thing and the biggest thing that happened in the past week uh, while we were off, you know, I was celebrating a birthday. America was celebrating Happy a birthday. Happy related oh. birthday. Thank yes. you. Thank you for that. that. Um, Guys, I don't know if you heard about this, but Nike has canceled this sneaker, an Air Max one with the Betsy Ross flag from 1776. Basically, they were they were gonna make the shoe to celebrate the holiday, but the Wall Street Journal reported that they pulled the plug on it because Colin Kaepernick kind of gave them the heads up that this icon has been adopted by white supremacist groups and it kind of represents superhero a, a time in America, you know, where where slavery was prevalent and and this is not something Nike should be getting behind. I know Matt Welty's head was spinning when this happened. But do you guys find this this use of this icon offensive? How do we feel about this in general? We live in a, a day and age where everything is sensitive. Mm. Yes. So it's hard okay. to really... Talk on it. They tell us to be yourself, but when you're actually being yourself, you're going to get criticized for yeah. it. Yeah, like my so. mustache. Like, they won't, they won't let me... <laughs> there it is. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a hard line, right. you know, because... How are we putting down something that's supposed to represent positivity? It's a juggle. It's your perspective. Did they do the right thing by canceling yeah. the shoe? What do you think, P? You know what? It's a gift and a curse with social media. So I feel like social media made them have to cancel the shoe. Because mm. social media have such a big impact on the world right now. Isn't social so, media the people, though? You know, I mean, I think it's something that made a statement. 
I don't think that the shoe is really gonna stop it, but it's adjusting bigger. Adjusting with the times, though. Yeah, so that's it's life. Adjusting. It's a different day and age. Yeah, with what it stand for back then, it should be canceled. But like Romeo say, we all have freedom of speech, thoughts, everything now. Right. So it's like it's America, baby. Yeah, it's America, baby. This is America. So I, I know Wealthy has. So he's been biting his tongue. But I know, yeah, you're, like I said, no, I know your I mean, on for me, for me, it was a bit, it was a bit uh, weird because I know you don't want to like make light of anything that had happened, you know, in America. And obviously, things have changed and, and progressed. But there was a report that went out via uh, the Associated Press. Uh, they talked to the Anti Defamation League, who looks up these sort of symbols, and they said that. There were like one or two instances where, you know, it had been used by uh, white supremacist groups, but the images itself is just. Uh, well, if it has been used exactly. by them, they need to get rid of it. They need to get rid of it if it has been. That's like been. the bottom, that's that's the bottom line. Again, are we giving had, them too much power? But that's what I mean, bro. It's just like but, when it's like that, but it's like. But this, this, if they got evidence of it, if they got evidence of it. Pull a plug. Yeah, pull a plug. But I just don't think you can cancel like. Uh, I Make a new man. shoe, man. man. Just put your face right there. Would you like that? <laughs> <laughs> I just think that sometimes when it's like when you when you say that this flag is no longer okay because just because someone adopted it or whatever, it's like it's like where does the line kind of stop? Whereas like is George Washington no longer okay? It's a real point. It is definitely yeah. a real point. I whatever like in an entrepreneur's, especially a black entrepreneur's not mind, it's canceled. Mm. But what I will say now, because I thought about I thought about this goddamn topic all week last week. Colin Kaepernick, yeah. to me, is like the most powerful black man Come on the show. in like a new age of people. Like, I'm mm -hmm. so happy to like be able to see him. That This shoe was gonna make a million dollars. The resale on this on StockX was yeah. a, like, what, a thousand, two thousand? Yeah. Because yeah. the shoe got canceled. The, cr the culture is crazy. Social media is crazy, like you said, yeah. B. The, yeah. the, crazy, you know the crazy thing, too, just wanna mention. No, let me say, well, let me finish, okay. let me finish <laughs> it off. Let me finish it off. Yeah. I gotta finish it off. Like I said, you're talking to black entrepreneurs, even myself, black pants I got on was made by black people. The shirt, these girls, free her, they're black. That's gonna touch a certain type where you gotta be canceled. But to play the other side of it now, it is puts you in a weird place because it's like, damn, this is America. And it's it's America, baby. That friction is there. It's not gonna be an easy turn. And that's what yeah. I want to say yeah. to what you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how you feel, like, cut it, yeah, and somebody gonna... else that say, push it. We all coming together as people. We wanna move forward. We don't even wanna deal with the negativity. Right. Cut be honest with you, like pops. You know what my campaign would be if I was running for president? We may not, you know, understand each other, but we can yeah. accept each other. Yeah. I think that's where the world need to go. I'm yeah. not gonna understand your life 100. Yeah. percent I'm not gonna understand your life. You're not gonna whatever he's say, doing at the drum and bass club. You can relate to a black man you sitting there. You could say that, but yeah. you could accept me. Mm. You know. Yeah. And I think that's, that's where we need to go. If we're not moving more towards accepting yeah. each other as a whole, yeah. then it, it gotta be cast. My thing is get rid of the hate. And how you get rid of that is with love. So you're going back to the hate. That's what I see. If it's some right. type of thing. Right. If I'm trying so, to move on love, yeah. don't go back to yeah, that. Yeah, don't go, don't go back to that because that's going to bring something else up out of us. Nah, you're right. Especially, especially the, the older people that been through that. Think about it. Well, well they well, already it, got their shoe. They good. It's no, 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 no. What the he He keeps going. No, no, no. no, 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 no what the only thing I wanted to say. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. One thing that was crazy is that so that flag is actually the Nike made the Philadelphia 76ers jerseys. That's actually the same image that's on the Philadelphia 76ers. Well, take their jerseys off. Hold on. Hold on. Tell them. Tell them their jerseys off. Nobody's saying anything about it. That's all I'm saying. You lucky I changed my life. <laughs> cancel, he got a suit on. Cancel the he whole got a suit on, on on a Monday. It's Nike, Monday. Nike, Monday. I, I, heard, I, heard, I heard Nike might cancel a couple accounts over this. They want to figure out how Talking the shoes got Talking about Nike out there. Yeah. Travis Scott is doing his thing. Would you say right? That's yeah. fair to say, right? We yeah. safe to say he's doing his thing. Totally right? And now he is the face of Jordan. Yeah. And we're in Jordan. Like these are his Jordan sixes here. They're coming out very soon. What date are they coming out? I don't Brady? think there's a hard date. Yeah, there's Sometime a hard date on it. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, these shoes are going to do their thing, Pete. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Remember, this oh, no, shoe's we going love Jordans. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Love, like, like, I don't think that that's like, a hate there. No, you know what I'm saying? No. Like, Travis Scott has created a a name and a brand for itself. Yes. I feel like it's with all the things that you don't he need has, Jordan no more. I, I really don't think so. No, but, Travis Scott. But, but everybody don't have that work ethic to go create and be an entrepreneur with. It's a lot of work. Yeah, and that's a lot of work. to create their so, own yeah, shooter. Yeah. Like, none's yeah. got so the you gotta, bag, none wrong with yes, it. Yes, if he got the bag, I... That's that's all him. Everybody can't own a record label. Amen. Some people want to do that. Everybody everybody can't every be a boss. Amen. Think about it. So you know, shout out to Travis Scott, man. Let him let him do his thing. Travis Scott, Get we love you, brother. Yeah. Keep doing your thing. We're gonna thing. send him some money.
Speaking of other people that you know that you uh, want to work with, you had offered a deal to Zion, yep. twenty million. Yeah. Have you ha heard anything back from that, or is there any? Well, like, you know what, we've been working on a movie, but we're getting back home real soon. Did you do a celebrity game, the charity game? Yeah, with the celebrity game, it was. It nice. was. Were you serious about twenty Crazy. million for Zion? Would you really come out of pocket? I for would. That? I would give him that because of what it's gonna do for our culture. Yeah. And what it's gonna do for the brand. It's and exactly. my dad, the beautiful thing with doing business with him. And that's why I say he's my favorite business partner, even if he wasn't my pops. Anybody who worked with this man, it's a family business. It's about ownership. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to get you to sign no three sisters. It's like you do business with us. Yeah. We a team now. Let us make it together. Yeah. Let's be able to give back and help these kids because we once was one of those kids in mm -hmm. those communities. This is our way of taking care of us. And yeah. I'm saying- Because what happens if you, you get hurt? Exactly. A lot of players You're not going to play basketball forever. That's a fact. So if you get hurt, you still can wear Minyatis. You gonna wear that anyway. And are these big corporations right. we'll, still we'll gonna take care of you like that? I'm thinking he just showed up. Well, let me tell you, he showed up in Pumas. We'll see. We'll see. I, we'll see. Hey, <laughs> it's on the table because he showed up to <laughs> summer league. I feel like the biggest flex of summer league is Zion pulling up in some Pumas. Yeah. I know Nike was like. How? Guys, I want to talk to you about the sneaker scene in New Orleans. We've heard a lot about how how big Reebok was oh, there yeah. back in the day. Were you guys were you guys rocking Reeboks heavy? I know it was a cash money thing kind of, or, or were you on that as well? No, I think our company was probably rocking it before. Soldier Slim yeah. was wearing Reeboks. They got shoes made after Soldier Slim. Of course, yeah. How close is it to the shoe he has on? Is it close to the shoe he has on a different model? Oh. Close. Reebok still hasn't made close. Close. Yeah. shoes. Ro Romeo, were you into Reeboks growing up? Alan Iverson, come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Come right, on. okay, that That's, was your, okay. I thought I was okay. a little AI as a kid, so. Yeah, yeah and then, you know, for me, I was more into the convert. Really? Yeah. Man, what y'all know about them K-Switch, though? You had to go to the little, you know, pay you know to get them K-Switch. Yeah, shout out, shout out. <laughs> New right New before Marty brought them all white K-Switch. Right. I, I love, I love that. What you call it? It makes me think of when we talk to Currency, you know, he told us about the things that he grew up in, he liked, yeah. as far as sneakers, you know what I'm saying? Like Five or four boys, right? I was probably one of the first with a deal with Converse back then. Around 99? Yeah. Yeah. It's 99, right? Yeah. How did that happen? Like, how did that, like, all come together? Well, I knew that I was going to the NBA, and I said, uh, you know, I'm not going to wear, like, some other shoes. I got to have my own. Mm -hmm. And Converse believed in me, and uh, we made the P to... Uh, All-Star MP, right? Yep, yeah, in, the, in the jump off. Yeah, you dropped a whole a mixtape around it, and this was, like, oh, yeah. four years before Jay-Z dropped yeah. the S. Carter mixtape with Reebok. How crazy is that? Well, you know, we just was ahead of our time. Yeah. Right. You said Converse the shoes that everybody loves? Yeah. Wear, my, wear my chucks when I step in the club? Yeah. <laughs> but I want to ask you this. When it comes to criticism, right, mm -hmm. and, you know, so somebody in the East Coast would be like, Pete, them shoes ugly. How did you feel about that? Lloyd Banks, he said, shit could get uglier than a masterpiece. Man, somebody right. think J-Lo ugly. Somebody think Holly Berry ugly. Right. You no, can't yeah, please everybody. I'm speaking from the standpoint of, like, entrepreneurs <laughs> looking at this, right? Yeah. We, so, and you got to get to that so, level of so, peace, so you know? So tell me this. This is what I look at. Yeah, talk it to It never me. bothered me because what do you have? When right. You, when, you, when you say something negative, everybody got 24 hours. What do you have? What product do you have? Right. At least I got product mm. out there. I tell everybody, better you get nothing. product out there, and Thanks then you can grow and get better and better. That's so it don't truth. matter. That's also, true. I was making money. Right. I had a lot of people buying my shoes. So Because they every, loved you. It's a brand. When, and that's when good. Lloyd Banks that said be, that, you didn't feel... Oh, no. Man, Lloyd Banks know me. And it was funny. Was it, um, weren't they on tour with you guys at the time? You I, said put that, them, <laughs> I paid for their tour. So right. Guess so what? he was on stage rapping the line, and you were backstage making yeah, the money? Well, going on, I'm who laughing at the end. All right. Yeah, I remember doing I that. Still, I, who owned my company? I'm still doing what I do. Yeah. I remember that's so, the biggest point. That's what I'm saying. So the thing about it is, like Romeo said, I don't want... Yes, people to be around me. You gotta, you could, yeah, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. That's right. opinion. It's right. nothing, I, it's people, no bad blood. Well, that's first. what I wanted you know to know. You know what I'm saying? Because no. you know, you've been doing this. Man, so think about the, it. They the was on year, tour you know? with me. Right. You know me. Yes. I have changed my life, but yes. I'm just saying, if it was a problem, it would have been a problem. <laughs> right. So, you know, I, know I got a lot of respect for them. I put them out at, at the time on, on the road. So I, I made my I money different ways. You know what I'm saying? It's right. not like I made it off of the console touring. It's all about freedom of speech. It's America, baby. Yeah. So if that's yeah. how you feel over there, that's cool. As long as you no, don't you don't cross the line with nothing. Well, no, you're like an you artist, said. especially when yeah. you're young. Yeah. You're an artist. And well, I'm sensitive about my shit, like Eric yeah, Badu uh, said. You know what I'm saying? When nah, you're, I ain't so you're younger. You know? No, let me tell you something. No I come out the worst here. project in New Orleans. Right. 
Words don't What's hurt. What's the name of that project? If you don't mind Cali, your project. Know, right? yeah. Let me tell you something, man. Welcome like watching in high yeah, school. Yeah, I've never. And this man did his homework. <laughs> Warren Easton. Yeah. Wait, Yanni Mondays. We yeah. go to school. Come on. Fuck you, Miss Guthrie. <laughs> so let me tell y'all something. Like I've never been mad at a person for saying whatever on their mind. You know, you just gotta stand by it. Right. If you mean it, all right. Yeah. Okay. So, but it never was to that. So, I always had a lot of respect for them to do your thing. I, I, know, I know Romeo was down with the sneakers, too, and you infamously wore them to Jordan's camp, and Michael Jordan had a problem with that. I want to hear your side of the story and then your side <laughs> of the story. That's crazy. You know, my coach just sent me the picture. It's just like, Rome, you was killing at this camp in your masterpiece shoes. I'll Michael Jordan's camp, right? He just texted me that. Yeah, Michael Jordan camp. and uh, You had the masterpiece sneakers on. Masterpiece shoes. I was the only kid wearing something other than Jordan's at right, the camp. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, Jordan was playing with me. You know, my dad, you know, my dad be like, look, man, don't be playing with my kids. I'm like, Pops. Jordan said, I can't wear these shoes. So he was being Jordan sarcastic. Was let him, let him, let him he was being sarcastic. Yes. My dad came there, pulled up. In the gold tank? He pulled up. The him and MJ, tank. they playing 515. Okay, I wasn't Gilbert there. Arenas was involved? But I'm going to yeah. tell y'all, word on the street, my pops and Ron Artez was the only ones to beat Michael Jordan team there who was killing them. Michael Jordan have dudes like Le LeBron was my coach at Jordan camp too. So he'll recruit all the top future players. Yeah. And then my dad had like the... The Steven Jackson crew. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, these no. problems, dog. The ones who wasn't to choke someone out. Whoa, what's the up? ones who wasn't afraid. So yeah, there's a real story. The people yeah. that and they the only the team to actually and beat check. Jordan and his team there in Santa Barbara doing those and, Michael and Jordan so flight did camp you basically days. tell Jordan, look, he'll he'll take the shoes off. Man, Jordan, well, it wasn't up. even that. I don't know the conversation. I want to hear I, inside. I, I gave the phone yeah. to my pops. I'm like, it's not that serious. He just said, talk to my dad. Can you talk about, what do you say to Michael Jordan, per se? But I you mean, are Michael, he's a yeah, Michael Jordan. Jordan I, you know what I'm saying? You pee, I mean, dog. to me, I got a lot of respect for him. And he's just a regular dude. Come on, show. And we both, <laughs> we both uh, confident people. Right. How so how once confident one, people but, talk to But the thing about it is, if you say anything about my kids, I'm going hard. I don't care who you is. Right. That's just me. That's just how I am. Like I'm, those two alphas right there. I'm yeah, just that's saying. what I'm saying. Two it's a special alphas. time. Yeah. Yeah. So even if one Jordan, joking, yeah. did you know, there's some Batman, Superman yeah. shit going on oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, I already got my sh shoes on when I come there. But Jordan thing was, you know, Jordan was talking trash. So it's yeah. like now nah, about it, the sneakers. No, he was just saying in general. Like, he's saying general. You know, like how we you know do Jordan Cock. He's like he's man, Jordan Cock. Uh, put on them. We Jordan. talking what alpha male talk yeah. here. Alpha male. Like Jordan, you know that's my pops. You know that, huh? Also, like you know, when he on the court. Oh man, you rapping. There ain't no rapping. I'm rapping and playing ball. Mm. You know, you got that respect for him. But for me, I come from the project. Once I get on the court, you just a number to me. Mm. I don't look at all that who you are. You know what I'm saying? To after the game. So, you know, I mean, I went at him hard. Like, Fine. What was the final score? I don't even remember the score. I know they was going to call the police. Like, because that's how hard we was going. They, the, the man, guy was just, final man, score that's, was nine, I, that's nine probably one, one of his most memorable five, yeah, five you, games. Yeah, it's because yeah, it was the, crazy. They had a big crowd. Everybody, it was like. Do you think Jordan would admit to this? He might. But the thing even with Jordan, Jordan, that's family. You know, me yeah. and his yep. kids, you know, yeah. we'll be at the camp. We what grew up, up with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marcus. Marcus, okay. You know, we hoop. they'll come out to Cali, hoop yeah. with us. We'll be at UCLA running. So it's, it's just that friendly competition. Even like the world probably don't get it. Mm. Even with Michael Jordan, at, when they lost, it was like, how I feel to be sitting on the sideline at your own. So now I'm going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because Oh, you're going crazy. Oh, I'm going crazy. crazy. Oh because I'm God. pushing. Think about it. I'm shoving. So the guy who over the camp, he was literally going to call the police. He was like, you all right? I said, yeah, you all right. He's from the hood. Let him well, play. Pops, you got a lot of these stories. I don't care. You roughed up. All the players in the NBA went on your journey. Yeah, they don't know you was the enforcer to go in there. Yeah, like I, I just play like on <laughs> your know, Anthony Mason shit. Well, I play, I play with him. Me and that. These players find each other, <laughs> yeah. and then you come into the wrong gym, and they all on the same team. Yeah. Everybody get hit. But you know what? Me and Anthony Mason end up being friends after because we played with the Charlotte Hornets together. That's amazing. And, and he was like, he was the guy on the team. Like you couldn't right. touch him. Mm. Big Mason, mm. he don't want you to touch him. Like. And I'm like, man, I'm from New Orleans, though. You gonna get touched. So as soon as I get in the game, because in practice we gotta play against yeah, each other. Of course. You know I'm following them just on GP. Wow, let's see what's up. Let's see your heart at. Yeah, and so after that, what, that first foul, you say, little man, because you know he was about yeah, sixteen. Yeah, he big. You just, you know, you know what I say you out the hood. Yeah. It's Kahoot. I so got he, he was like, when you get in the back, we gonna fight. Oh yeah. I'm like, dog, big dog, fight right now while we out here. This is incredible. You know what I'm saying? This is and, incredible. And he ended up, man, I like you, man, and we end up being friends after that. Yeah. Tell me about the sneakers at USC. Uh -huh. Were you wearing? What sneakers you wearing at USC? It was Kobe's. Get the crazy plug there though. 
Were they just like flooding you guys with shoes like left and right? Or? Yeah, I don't. It wasn't that crazy. It wasn't like Oregon or nothing. Okay. Oh, no. yeah, it wasn't yeah, like yeah, we yeah, had, right, we had right, some right. fresh, you know, some fresh Kobe's. Kobe was hooking us up at SC. So but it wasn't, here it is, Romeo. Yeah. Boom. Does game Mar- one, first game. Did Mar hook you up with shoes though? Now or no? You guys like. My yeah. <laughs> That's what we rocking now, baby. That's it. We these. We own there these. Is. Come That's on it. now. Money, he never sent you shoes when he got to the league, though. Huh? Like, as I know, you guys were boys. He, he wear Kobe's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but so, like know. when he was getting the special shit, like in the NBA, he never sent you like any special stuff. Like, like if it's not, my <laughs> I don't want it. Now. If I'm not shit. playing DeMar, basketball no more, yeah, I'm only rocking when y'all. Now you still be out there hooping with on, on, no, on people don't, break. People don't know that Romeo is a real baller. He's been doing this a long time. If we wasn't doing the movies and the music stuff, it'd have been an easy transition for him because. He really played the game. Played I have game. to ask you, what shoe? I don't remember your first game. Charlotte. Charlotte yeah. What sneaker you wore first game? First, first nigga, it's your first NBA game. You're a yeah. rapper. What's the first, what sneaker did you I wear? Wore, I, I wore my own sneakers, the Converse. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this was th- this was Converse era or when you had your own joints? No, this was. Yeah, you wore your joints. So you you don't realize, so nobody know that I made my own shoe with Converse. Like I created the whole brand at Converse, right. and I put my own money up for it. Okay. It was big. You got the yeah. big promotion. And then got the NBA yeah. deal and debuted the shoe. Yep. And this is after NBA. you owned a Foot Locker you. in the 90s, is that right? Yeah, so the what crew. I did, I did, I had a Foot Locker, then I created a Master Feet. Yeah. And that's a that's a subsidiary of Foot Locker? Yeah, that's my own thing. We just created it. We like, okay, it's time to time to go create this on our own. How, how long did that exist? Years. We, yeah. It was in the South, like Master Feet. Master Feet. Uh, on the sneaker tip, I want to know, like, before you before you got in the league, what were you wearing in, in college in terms of sneakers? I was wearing Adidas. Adidas. Okay. That's at Houston, right? Yeah. yeah, I was wearing Adidas. I kind of assumed you were kind of a Nike guy growing up because I remember no. when, you, when you remade Ice T's, yeah. uh, you know, six in the morning, you yeah. replaced Adidas with Nike. So yeah. I thought maybe that meant that you. You were a Nike guy, but no? Man, no. you thinking too I much look. into this, man. You did too much research, <laughs> man. You showed me like Nardwar The man here. just wanted the rhyme, maybe. <laughs> yeah. You know rappers <laughs> do things. The just like Jordan. Up. Look, Lloyd <laughs> Master probably said that line. Hey, yeah. let me tell y'all, Lloyd probably just did that because that was the only thing that rhymed right there. <laughs> yeah. That's what, sometimes well, why sometimes it's whatever Nike rhymes. Fresh, yep. fresh Nikes. Because I probably clothes. had that when I made the song. So uh, people don't realize, like, I don't I'm write. i analytical. Is that now, exactly? I don't write. I, I got to feel the music. All those songs I made, it come from feeling. Mm. Right. So if I had those shoes on at that time while I was making that song, I'm say then, 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 I'm, then that's what I'm going to say. Just like he said, uh. Make him say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, every week here on the show, we have the segment, The Worst Take, where we punish somebody who said something egregious last week and we make them switch out their shoes and wear something terrible. It is me this week for discussing oh, uh, boofing sneakers okay. with our previous guests. So you can't boof a sneaker. You can, I, I mean, if you could boof a sneaker, you definitely need to go check yourself out. <laughs> you can't, right? <laughs> Depending Bro. on the size. Take off these sneakers. Sneakers. You got, you got some so wild you, joints. You gotta Place. take off your fly sneakers and put on Something per awful. Se, where where do we get these? these are some Why awful. can't we switch it up for Manyati Mondays? No. Why can't well, we put on Manyati Mondays? Well, this is not where you put it. Oh, this, oh, this is not where you put it. But why do it have to be punishment? Why can't we get it? that's the show. Yeah. That's the rules, man. Come on. Why can't y'all give this man some love? Where's the love? Ain't no love. That's what I heard. Even when he mess up, give him some love. That's how you make the world a better place. That's all you, bro. <laughs> Handle that. That's Put that all on. A couple zippers on here. So what we also do, fellas, is a segment called Drip Flipper Skip. Yeah. Drip being... I don't even know how to get these <clears> on. It looks good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Flip. They didn't make these in Italy. Nah. No. <laughs> Flip means that you like it, but you won't wear it, so you'll sell it. Okay. Or whatever. And then skip, you don't rock with it at all. But speaking of flipping, have either of you guys ever resold sneakers? My little brothers. Yeah. My little brothers all the time. Not, yeah. I can't, you know. Not me, I can't vouch for that. <laughs> only only in only in the, the stores that you own, right, P? Yeah, but but like you say, Mercy and Hersey. Yeah, they Mercy do it all the, all the time. Young research. Shout out to yeah. V, man. That boy starting and I got the hook up too. All right. Yo, yeah. how do I get these unzipped? They you can't unzip. even unzip them. And not me out, you see what happened? <laughs> So, boom, first shoe, guys. Stranger Things, sec- they just dropped. Mm-hmm. They did a collab with Nike. Uh, yeah. What do you think, P, on the screen there? Drip, flip, or skip? I'll flip it. Flip. Yeah. Brendan, 
Jeff Lopez kept saying. I'm skipping these. I feel like Stranger Things has had like 20 fucking collaborations yeah. in the past three weeks. I'm done with this. With that shoe on, I hear I'm you. I'm done with this. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a Jeff Lopez skip. I do think it's a drip overall. I do like the like the older, like the Cortez and the. Wow, the this man is feeling good. Yeah. Nice socks. R Romeo, Jeff Lopez uh, That's an right? easy one for me, fellas. I'm skipping and replacing this with a Mignotti drip. <laughs> hey! That's all I'm saying. Stranger Things, holla at me. This, <laughs> holla at replace me, Stranger this one. Things. Right. Next shoe, yeah. next shoe. The Yeezy 350 V2s. Landmarks. Lund Lundmarks, Lundmarks, right? Lundmarks. Lundmarks. Yeezy 350. Another Yeezy. Kanye is Kanye. This is great. Br I'm going to start with you, Wilty. Uh, Drift flip a skip. It's an all right colorway, but he's done way too many of these, and it's just a skip. I'm tired of seeing the same shoe over and over again. Brandon? Yeah, this is a skip. I can't fucking tell the difference between these and the last six ones that he did. I, I... Romeo? You know what? I'm going to have to flip this, because one of my homies was the plug with these, and they oversold them to me, so I want to oversell them uh... back. Okay. <laughs> These aren't Magnatis, and you're buying them? This well, was back in the this was before. Put, this was back in the day. He's putting the money back I, I was into trying, I was trying to know, but I was trying to look out for one of my friends. He owned a business. Well, they're both I'm black owned. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, exactly. yeah. and they, well, but I mean, it's like, why are you with that? overpricing your home? Okay, okay. You feel me? Yeah. What? I got to get the Kanye to get the Kim to help get my brother out of jail. So if they can help okay. me do that, then I'm going to drip that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to drip that. I'm hey, just jelly. If, 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 if they can do a Kim for my brother, you know what? Drip, 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 you know what? Yeah. Come on, yeah. free, I'm at the free, 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 Kim connection. Yeah. We okay. You know what? Kim, Kim better than some of these uh, political people drip. now. Drip. If she could do that, Kanye, bro. I will pair them. Y'all go yeah, help. Y'all make show. that Free happen. Free C-Murder, man. Come yeah. on the show as soon as you get out. First, first day out. Impressive, first day out, C-Murder, come on yeah. the show. Innocent man, dog. There come on. There it is. Exactly. Moving forward. Outfits. Yeah. yeah. Let's, <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, yeah. gentlemen, it's gentlemen. Take, take where we at? Where we at right now? Before we act, before I ask if it's a drip, flip, or skip, because I know it's a drip. We we had the Billboard Awards. 2001. History right there. Right there. We both won best awards. Rap, no, that's right. best rap album of the year, yeah. and I had the... Rap Artist of the Year. That's yeah. fine. So yeah, I won multiple fine. Billboard yeah. Awards, the youngest in What shoes y'all got on right there? Man, that's the know, Converse baby. MP. That's, right that's the joints, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the jump ball. Man, right there. Yeah. that's the moment. You know that's what I'm saying? That's the red and the blue. And we got on P. That's red, a, white, everything. We got on yeah, P. And Miller so head. Think about it. So look at how those shoes was back then. Let's be honest. It's 2000. That's a fit. People dress like that now. People dress like that now. I'll rock that right now. Drip, flip, skip. Come on, drip, drip. It's a drip. Brandon. It's a drip. I love the fatherly energy. I love That's the bond. Iconic, you know? I gotta hear you say it. So drip, yeah. drip. drip. Right. Moving forward. Yeah. yeah. That's iconic I, right there. Oh, <laughs> Romeo and Bow Wow and me. Come on, man. Is, Look, that's what people don't classic. know. People don't know. Look how everybody used to put them against each other, but they was cool. Yeah. Were, you, were you guys competitive with each other on like a friendly team? One-on-one cool. basketball. <laughs> Romeo's yeah, being no, bad with One-on-one. That's not Now, let me ask you more fair questions. It's not a fair question. We're doing too many push-ups for that. This is a better question. Who got more sneakers? Lil Romeo or Lil Bow Wow? Before Manyati. Before Manyati. It's all Manyati and P. Miller shoes. I had unlimited P. Millers. We had a factory, man. Yeah, so I had You know what I'm saying? Like. We had a factory. It's a yeah. difference. But it's I do the, know that Bow okay. used his Jordan plug with Marcus. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, he be getting Marcus them Jordans in and out okay, of there. Okay, okay. But okay. nah, this is the funny thing. My, like my pop said, this world put everybody yep. against each other. Right. Who I, was actually, this? I looked up to him. I'm younger than Bow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I looked up to him, you know, just seeing somebody who looked like me do this as well. It's like he was like a, a big brother. You know, all these rappers even now is bad to where everybody hate each other, everybody beefing. When you got all these companies on the same corners, you could put Nike, Adidas, Reebok, Puma, all that. Put them all in one place and there's no problem. So why we can't, just because he was a young kid rapping and Ron was a young kid rapping, they put them against each other. People love beef. You know what I'm saying? But let, let, let the beef stay at the steakhouse. Mm. Let's get this money. Bar. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this Smash money, man. Bar, ladies and gentlemen. Like, for real. Like, we, like why, how come we can't eat together? We got another fit. Well, this is the fit. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. So, you got the snake uh, where, where, okay, this so, music this is, right? so let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all something, too. Now the Mignotis. It's coming with the snakeskin manyatis real soon, so you be able to, because we have, you got to be an animal to wear manyatis. So y'all see where the animal started from. Y'all see, y'all see where the animal started from. Can we get a, can we get a drip for the yeah. count of three? One, two, three, drip. drip. Yeah. Sorry, drip. Peter. All right. Let me tell you about this dog. Nobody believed, they asked me where I was going to sell it at. I made up 500,000 of these, and they didn't believe that it was going to sell. And, That's a uh, lot of dogs. And um, it told me I, I wasn't going to be able to, put it in those stores like 
like Tars of Us. And I said, I'm not trying to put it in. They said, where you trying to put it? I said, I'm trying to put it into the record stores, wherever I sell my music at. And we end up selling selling all out of that. It was it was incredible. So well, drip, drip on well, that. Drip flippers kip on this picture. Yeah, yeah this, 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 is, this is amazing. It's like you have fucking Mark McGrath from Sugar Ray holding a master <laughs> pedal, doll, which is the most random thing I've ever seen in my life. And it's amazing. It's amazing. Drip. Drip. Yeah, drip. 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 Oh, of course. No. Drip. Gentlemen, I was on tour with NSYNC. Actually, Justin Timberlake was like, this wouldn't, this kind of inspired us to do the whole doll thing. Oh, so, shit. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, shit. That's incredible. Gentlemen, before we get out of here real quick, we want to breeze through the comment section and see what people have been showing, saying about the show. Hey, since, FS Army. Since our last episode, since we were on a quick little break. Black Chucky says, just realized that Brennan was really on some sockless black AF1 activity. That is a very dangerous man, ladies oh, and Lord. gentlemen. What is he talking about? Soccer Dude 92 may or may not be an alternate wealthy account. Says, I've recently been going through some rough stuff personally, but I always look forward to Thursday night because of the new FSR episode. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, everybody. Feels like hanging out with old and new friends. Much love and keep it up. Shout out to you. Uh, Brian Breezy says, Can't believe there are millions of people around the world who are not watching the best sneaker show on YouTube. Shame on them. Um, Wait, did you write that? Um, you wrote that last? No, no, That's no. That's from no, his no. burner <laughs> account. That's from his burner <laughs> account. Oh. No. Gentlemen. What can the people look from you right now besides the Mignottis? I got to hook up to. Uh, Where can we find that? In theaters. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you can tell them also what we're doing though, since we own it. Yep. So we're putting a soundtrack out the same day the movie coming out July 12th. Okay. And uh, you're gonna hear some incredible records. Uh, Rome got incredible song on there. He back to doing the music. Uh, me and Jeezy got a song called Gone that is gonna be a classic. Can you get Jeezy on the show for us? I'll work on it. Snowman, what's that? Yeah, so that. ice cream man and snowman it's, together. Hey, it's, it's gonna be a cold it's a problem. Something. That's the only thing I can tell y'all. It's gonna it's be a cold right. something. I love it's that. Only right. Uh, this has been another episode of Full Size Run. I am your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. I'm Trina James with the goats yeah. out here. Family goat team right here. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm yeah. Master P. Romeo Miller. I got the hookup. July 12th in theaters. VOD. New music coming on July 12th. My new single, Unusual. So I'm going to send that over and get y'all a Send it over. Right. Send it over. Get back, back in your bag. I'm Let's back. see what that bag look like. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Buy a six for my kids. Bought a seven for my Yo, better late than never, but it finally came. We got the plaque. What's that silver shit? 100K subscribers. That's cute. This is amazing, dude. You're hyped over 100,000 subscribers? What do you mean? That's nothing. It's, it's a big moment for the brand. I get to start my own channel and get 100,000 subscribers. You don't want a million? I'm not trying to touch that shit to this all go. Okay, You're, you guys, we need more subscribers. Subscribe to the show. I'm at a dress like wealthy. Back to being the common folk. Nobody wants that. It's not pretty. I already lost my Gucci sock. They're gonna fire me. We don't get more subscribers. That's actually true. Subscribe to the show or they're gonna stop sending me Spezzy Al. Subscribe to the show so I can keep flexing on you niggas, man. You see these goddamn kicks on my feet? Y'all niggas don't want no smoke. Just, just hit the button. I mean, God, how much, how much more can we have?